the fact that an officer who's trained to use uh, a weapon and is trained, in fact, in safety and security is very different from a classroom teacher whose focus is not on that. Jara Summerford believes arming teachers in the classroom would make the learning environment less safe. Although we know that there are you know, many situations where teachers themselves may have gun licenses, your workplace, your school and setting where there are children involved is not the place to be exercising those skills and, and it's not a part of your job the way I see it. It's a belief she stands by as State Senator Frank Nicely reportedly plans to discuss requiring at least one school employee to be armed at all times. Representative Joe Carr says he would file a bill that would allow school officials to be armed. There's so much grief as a result of Newtown, Connecticut that we've, we've got to make sure every way possible that that does not kind of thing find its way to Tennessee. The idea behind arming school officials is that a gunman wouldn't know who is armed or not, unlike the nature of school resource officers. When asked if Governor Bill Haslam would support such a bill, his response was hesitant. To me, it's hard to see what kind of and what you know, what kind of, uh, how much we gain in, in doing that. Gun rights advocate Nikki Goser believes teachers being armed legally is the only way to stop the kind of tragedy like what happened at Sandy Hook Elementary School. When someone is meeting you with a particular amount of force, you have to meet them with the same force. It's a debate that may just be beginning here in Tennessee. There's a whole lot of factors in there, and I do think we need to have that discussion.